hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your favorite girl precious so guys thank you so much for the love so far like i'm over, i have over 2000 subscribers like it's not easy like i'm so grateful to you guys thank you so much and if you're a new subscriber please subscribe to my youtube like why haven't you subscribed come on now please subscribe to my youtube channel and for my returning subscribers my re mvp thank you so much guys for always sticking around like i love you so much like wait cannot explain how i feel guys thank you so much for always sticking around so guys in this video i'm going to be talking about cost of relocating to the uk as a healthcare assistant as you guys all know i came here through the Ed care assistant route or the skilled worker visa route yeah tier two so guys i'm going to be telling you guys the prices so you know what you are expecting when you come here it's not it's not it's not expensive but i'm not going to say it's cheap it's something if that if you really want to get you can achieve it i've been receiving a lot of questions yeah even after answering some of the questions, I still receive questions on the price, how much is I spent, how long did my COS take, how long did my visa take to come out. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about everything step by step and also giving you the price. So you do the mass calculate it and know exactly the amount you should have in mind. So firstly, you need a passport like you want to come to the uk and you don't have a passport like even though you don't even uk you want to jackpot to anywhere guys you need a passport so guys i did my passport at enugu state i would have done it in benin city where i reside but I, a lot of i've been hearing a lot of g's like no don't try it in benin city it's going to take time a lot of time so i decided to travel to enugu state to do my passport and when I did it, trust me, it took time. Yeah, even after paying for Express, I don't know what happened. The um, book is not here. This, that, um, the capturing is not working. Like, a lot of complaints were coming in. And also, we were plenty. See, in fact, if I can use the English, if I can use much, like much, we are much. Politicians, so all of them. You see, it's in immigration that you know that people have money in this country. Like people, they ready to jackpot. They want to jackpot. So I paid sixty thousand euro for my passport, and it took, let me say, approximately two weeks for me to get my passport. Some it takes more than that because even after registering, after paying sixty thousand, the guy, the man that assisted me in doing it was still telling me that I should wait for a month or two. I like why a month or two? She was like because I just registered. Like. That was not what they told me. So they were like, it was like, if you have issues, you are going to wait for a month or two. But if it's, if you don't have issues, you can do it. Ah, see prayer point. I was praying, let me know I have issues. And yeah, that was how I got my passport. Then COVID vaccine is necessary. You need COVID vaccine card. But I don't really know if you really need it. I'm not going to lie because I already have it. So when I was filling my visa form, I added it that, yes, I have taken the vaccine. They just asked me which exactly did you take, first dose, second dose. Then I have my card, but they did not ask me for my card. I didn't snap my card to anybody does it. So the next one is IELT exam. Guys, I know all my videos are the amount on this IELT exam that... Yes, you need a health exam. Of course, like you are coming to the UK, you need to write a health, especially if you are coming through the health care route. If you are coming through, as a dependent, you don't need IELTS. You don't. What do you need it for? So if you are coming as a dependent, you don't need IELTS. IELTS, UKVI, that's what you need. I always say it in all my videos. So there is no excuse. You cannot be a subscriber or you are watching my video and you go and register for IELTS just IELTS. No, it's not possible. IELTS UKVI is what you should register for those of you that are planning to come to the UK. And guys, don't mind my background. I know I've changed background. I don't even know what happened to the tripod. I tried putting my phone there and it got broken. So we'll be managing this one for now. See, I replaced it or my sister replaced it. One of the two all joined. My sister's thing belongs to me, period. So guys, don't make any mistakes to write just IELTS. 
if you are going to Canada, other country, you can just write, you can write IELTS or UK. If it's UK, you need to write IELTS with the UK VI because the UK VI means UK visas immigration. Yeah, I paid 89500 for my IELTS UK VI. IELTS is cheaper. There's IELTS UK VI. That's what I paid for. 89500 I wrote my IELTS in Lagos State. Um, at Bagada, mainland, that was where I wrote my IELTS. So I don't want to add any extra costs because I wrote when I went to Lagos, I had to lodge in an hotel. I have a friend in Lagos, but she stays in Ireland, and my exam is supposed to start by eight. Yeah, so there's no way I will make it there on time. I know it's still possible though, but I'm not familiar with Lagos. I don't want anything to happen to me. I was so scared. So I lodged in an hotel close to my exam center. So I don't think I should include that because some of you might have a place where you'll be staying. So there's no point including that. So guys, for the IELTS, I used British Council. There, you, I heard you can also use uh, IDP. Yeah, I know some people that used IDP, but... I could not use IDP because when I logged into the site, I wasn't even understanding what they were saying. And they always referred me back to um, British um, Council. So that was how I registered and I wrote the exam. Later on, after writing the exam and I passed, I pasted it in the Telegram group that I shared with you guys. And a lot of people were saying, wow, precious, you did well. I heard British Council is easier than IDP. I don't know how true is that because I feel like it's one body. It's still the same exam. If you're writing this particular day, you are writing the same exam with the people that, is, that register through IDP. But that was what they said. But that the marking scheme is different. That those that write through British Council, they score them higher. Those that write through IDP, it's easier for them to fail. I don't know how true that is. I don't believe in it, but yeah that was what i heard but yeah i did well in my autism and oh shit i'm here oh shit <laughs> guys so that literally guys guess what it's 7 11 o'clock and i'm still awake shooting this video for you guys like it's 11 o'clock everywhere is as quiet as that's why i had to use this mic because i don't want to shout i don't want to wake my babies up because i'm not ready to handle them this night so let them sleep peacefully so guys, all this my hard work better pay. See, I'm supposed to be sleeping by now and I have to go to work tomorrow. I'm working Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, but I have to make this video for you guys because I love you guys genuinely from my heart. And I know you guys love me too. So for loving me, you have to watch this video to the end. Share it, subscribe to all the doable that is necessary, guys. Please, this one not be forced, I beg. Laowu, please, Pico, Edjo. <laughs> Then after the IELTS exam, then COS, guys, COS, Certificate of Sponsorship, you're not paying for it. It's your employer that will pay for it. It's free of charge. So don't think you are paying for Certificate of Sponsorship. You're not paying, yeah? It's free of charge. And my Certificate of Sponsorship took um, close to three months before it came out, yeah. It took that long but i know of someone that got our own two days three days time it just depends but mine took so long and i had to wait the COS, your employer has to take a boss there's a boss is supposed to take when you take that boss means he's in charge of you he's going to like take care of you for the main while before you balance up and find your way or you prove your fund. But within 30 days of your visa application, you need to have a certain amount in your account. So to avoid all this stress, I just advise you to like specify it, let your employer know that they should seek the boss because you don't want to go through the stress, the bank stress. Then my DBS. Yeah, I paid 40,000 naira for my DBS. That's police clearance. I heard police clearance supposed to be free. I don't know how true that is, but I paid to get it. And maybe, and guys, even when I got there at Tunisia's, when I got to the place, I did mine at Ikoi, Lagos. When I got there, I was just asking questions. How do I do this DBS thing? I saw a lot of people, you meet this one, it will tell you 25,000. You meet this one, it will tell you 30,000. You meet this one, it will tell you 40,000. But I got... 
a contact from a friend of mine that I should call this number that she's going to guide me through on how to go about it. So I was hearing different price. So I met this I met the woman, she was like forty thousand euro. That is what she's going to take. I'm like okay, I had thirty thousand, I had twenty five thousand, but the difference was not much. I don't know you, I know this lady. If anything happens, I can hold this lady and I don't want anything that will make them doubt my visa and deny my visa. Guys, you know when you're coming to the UK, you go to do JJC like say you know, but you don't want to risk it. I'm that kind of person. Unnecessary risk, I don't bother taking it like this kind of risk because of 5,000, 20,000, 10,000. I will now lose my visa and stuff like that. So I said, no, I was going to pay the 40,000. So I paid the 40,000 euro. So guys, are you calculating it? 89,500, 40,000, <laughs> 60,000 passports. So it's not easy. It's quite expensive. But it was worth it. My money did not waste. I am here. Did it waste? No. <laughs> and guys, some people said um, DBS, which is police clearance, is supposed to be free. Yes, some people like you're supposed to just pay 5,000. So people like you're supposed to just pay 10,000. Well, guys, I pay 40,000. If they cheat me, fine. I know they cheated me one way or the other. Nigeria, my country, we know how this is done here. But I didn't mind at that point in time because I really wanted to leave. I really wanted to get things done because. I was staying with a friend of mine in Lagos and I don't like to inconvenience people. If I was based in Lagos, it would be easier for me to keep investigating, find the cheapest, make sure things go, the, everything go away. So I needed to just do it, get done with things and go back to Benin City, bus to another. And guys, when I was going to the Ikoi, I was always using Uber because taxi fire because I don't want to Allah before somebody will come and kidnap me or cheat or rob me or stuff like that. I was always using taxi fire because I'd, I'm new in Lagos. I don't know where to stay and where not to stay. This place is good. This place is bad. I don't know. So I have to be very careful. And guys, some of you have been complaining in my videos that I don't look at the camera. It's as if I'm looking elsewhere. Now I'm looking at the camera. Please note, note this and no peace. I'm looking at the camera this time around. I've taken your correction. It was quite difficult because I like looking at myself when I'm making the video. Even as I'm making this video, I look at the camera as I try to look at myself. But now I'm focused on the camera. So guys, there's nothing like I'm, um, I look as if you're not, I'm, you're not seeing me or I'm not looking at you or you cannot feel the, you must feel the connection. All right. So that is it for that. Um, and guys, you need to get certificates from Florence Academy, yeah? During my time, it was free, but now they charge money. So I would advise you to do the courses and hold on. When your company asks for the certificate, then you can pay and give it to them. It's best to do it that way to save costs. And some of the certificates is two pounds, some one pound. I think it's in dollars, two dollars, three dollars and stuff like that. So it's not something I would advise you to do just yet, unless you know that, yes, you're going to get the job. When you finally come to the UK, trust me, you're going to do a lot of trainings, like back to back, even after the Florence Academy, they will still train you here. You get, it's it's a law. Whether you have worked here for one year or two years, and if, you are, and if a new company employ you, they are still going to train you, show you and let you know how things are done. You fill the form, sign the contract. So my contract with my company is five years. So I'm going to be working with them for five years. Then I can decide to either work somewhere else or remain with them but as it is as my work is going trust me i would like to remain with them regardless because i'm enjoying my work i'm not seeing any reason to leave here it's something i enjoy doing that's on period <laughs> my visa hey guys so this visa application here is just so funny doing like six years or um six months or five months back i have a friend that paid 464 pounds to come to the uk so for our visa she paid 464 pounds there is up to three years visa and there is more than three years visa so because my contract with my company is five years so i did the more than three years visa so the more than three years visa now guys doing my own time i did mine i converted mine in dollars and at first, it was showing $607. That's what I was supposed to pay. But 
before you apply for your visa, you need to have your TB test, you need to have your police clearance, you need to have your, um, what was it called, your passport, all those things you need it before you can apply. So at that point, I did not have it yet. I made sure that, yes, my COS was out before I proceed with anything. So immediately my COS came out, I did all the necessary things then before it came out the money grew from 600 and something then the money grew to 617 dollars that was what i ended up paying see i cannot tell you this is the exchange rate i use because i don't know how it's going to be now so you exchange rate is always fluctuating today is this tomorrow is that so you need to check that out and find out for yourself the exchange rate so for my visa i paid 617 dollars and also for my TB test, I did my TB test at St. Nicholas Hospital in Lagos State. So I also paid 60,000 Naira for my TB test. Yes. You don't just apply. You don't just go to any hospital and do your TB test and send it to them that, yes, this is your TB test. When you go to the gov.uk site, you are going to see it. I mean, uk.gov site or uk.gov site. I don't know. But when you go to the site... You are going to see it. there are specific hospitals you need to do your TB test. Yeah. So I did my TB test at St. Nicholas Hospital. The following day, I went to take my results. It didn't really, it did not take time at all. And that's it for my certificate. So guys, for my visa application, I did it in Lagos, in VI Lagos. There are different visa application points. There are different types. I think there is one in mainland. There is one in VI. I chose the one in VI because it was closer to where I was living. My friend was living in VI. I stayed with her. Uh, God bless her because she really helped me a lot. Do you know what it means to accommodate somebody and feed the person? Because, see, and I stayed long in that house because I don't want to go and do TB tests. Then you apply for visa. Then I'll still come back again for visa biometrics and stuff like that so i stayed in our house as my tb came out we applied for the visa they gave us like seven days before then i chose a date because people they jackpot back to back so you cannot apply now and expect that they'll put tomorrow for you to go, go and your appointment will be tomorrow for stuff like that so i waited i think i waited for about seven to eight days then as before I went there. You will see it as you are filling the visa application form. They will tell you the available dates. So you will pick the one that you, the one that you want. So I picked my own date and I went there. And it not just, I did not just pay for just the visa. Even after paying for the visa, um, 617, I also paid 60 pounds and I also paid 60,000 Naira. So I paid 60 pounds or 60,000 Naira. See, I can never remember my purpose of paying for that stuff. But I remember that some of the things that was part of the fee was that when my um, visa comes out, they will send it down to Benin City. I don't have to go to Lagos State to pick it up because, guys, traveling up and down can be risky, you know. So that is it and also i paid for express in such a way that immediately i'm getting there they attended to, they attended to me first because you know how this country can be you can stay you can go there now before they will attend to you evening or they might end up not attending to you then you have to go back the next day so i paid for express so immediately i walk in they call it walking something i cannot remember but immediately i got there they attended to me and guys trust me with what i noticed most of the people they paid for the same thing so you will still have to wait but you don't have to wait for long because when i got in there were like three people that was ahead of me so immediately they did as i did mine and guys before this application stuff i was scared that maybe they are going to ask me a question I printed out the application form, everything that they needed, the document they needed, my passports, everything. I printed it out for them. Then going through it, I read all the information to be sure. I know when you watch this video, be like, you get yourself into the fear. I know, I took the fear. I took it like that with my full chest. I accept it. But they don't allow cell phone there. You have to either switch off your phone or, yeah. I think you have to switch off your phone and they took my phone from me something like that there's a place where you keep phones and stuff like that so when i got there i did the needful then they asked me what is my name that's just what they asked me what is my name and my date of birth i told them then i left 
Then, guys, it didn't even take time. I told my visa I was going to take three months, six months, because I know of a friend that I see her, it took like three days before it came out. But when it, became, when it was time for visa, it was taking longer than expected. So, and they told me when I was filling the form and everything, they were like, um, at least 40, they said at least 14 days before my visa will come out or before they take decision and stuff like that. At least, meaning it can be one month, it can be two months, because definitely 14 days must pass so you should calm down so it was not even long i think it was like after the fifth day or so i received a message that my this thing has gotten there successfully this that that um um a decision is to take in a bit of delay like i cannot remember but i know they were always updating me every step so i did when my visa came out they also called me that yeah my visa is out i was so excited like i dhl brought it to me at my house gone gone like my house itself that was where they brought it so i was so happy i had some space with i was having issues with space on my phone so i deleted so many videos this video immediately i'm done shooting it once i upload it i'm deleting it immediately because i need space on my phone yeah i need to get it better phone here yeah. so let's watch my video watch it to the end let my watch hour increase so that i can get good money from youtube and change my phone so when you are filling the form and you're applying for your visa try not to make mistakes guys see eh i did read down word for word make sure that okay yes tick this one what is your name i checked it like even before i submitted it i checked it again like hope i'm not making mistake because i don't want to deny do you know how much i've spent imagine after paces on that 70 they will tell you this is what they made them deny your name on one annoying thing that's not worth it i like no no so i made sure that every the information i gave was correct so my visa did not really take long it even took less than two weeks before it came out i was even surprised like ah, is it the visa that people are complaining about it did not take time see the whole process was so smooth for me still. so it gave me this assurance that yes uk is for me like yes god really want me to come to this uk because everything went smoothly guys when you're coming to the uk maybe you're coming everything i've settled you are coming to the uk guys don't bring plenty clothes don't bring it see guys their style yeah it's different from our style i can beat my chest and say that with my foot chest i'm going to say it is so different even when i came here with some of my clothes i'm seeing what they are wearing but trust me the clothes they wear here i don't like it i'm not going to lie this is the kind of clothes they like to wear like nylon nigerians we like thick clothes as we wear around they go no say ah because we now the when you feed the cloth on his stick, that's how you know that this is quality. So they told me, my sister told me from the one, don't bring too much clothes because you might end up not using it. I said, okay, well, I don't bring too much clothes. Instead, I use that opportunity to pack full stuff. Uh, if you have not watched it, you can check my sister's channel, Melissa channel. She talked about the full stuff that I brought. I brought a lot of full stuff. If you want to know full stuff to bring, check her channel because I didn't make a video of that. A lot of full stuff dry fish oil, all of them and i even bought locust beans <laughs> so i bought locust we seen guests here yeah? i bought locust beans and it was a bad so and when they were checking my load they found out that the bag because i'm supposed to take two bags and one extra luggage i can use in the plane so after they checked the the two luggage it was ss so i can take anything i want and put it in the small luggage that will be used i will be using to go to the plane i don't know if that english makes sense but hope you understand the most important thing is you understand so i was supposed to use it to go to the plane to enter the plane i like fine let's see how it goes so so when i was checking it they told me to remove something i was even rushing so i removed locust beans and you know guys and you know how locust beans can smell like so i put it in my other bag that i'll be using and i added other stuff too so when they were checking the bag they saw the locust beans they were like sorry i cannot use this beans. they're like ah why because it was smelly when they opened the bag and stuff like that i was even perceiving it but i was not sure because i don't know you you don't know me after this plane i'm not even sure you're going to see me again so why i go the shame for the locust beans so I, I pleaded with them pleaded with them that please can i go with they said no and there's this native maggi we use in cooking soup i also put that one i put it there she's like no you need to take this out they remove the native maggi they remove uba i don't know if you know uba is you can use it for african salad yeah 
So I said, they said, no, I have to take it. I'm like, no, I cannot remove this one. You have removed local beans. You want to remove native maggi. And you want to remove... Like, no. <laughs> so I just told them, like, oh, yeah, give me. Let me wrap it in my clothes. It's not going to smell. It's just this local beans that smell. So they not to be... It's only the local beans that is smelling. So they not to be local beans. Even when they took it, I was still losing why I had to look at them. Like, ah, Afana, give me this thing. You get... Ah, and trust me, guys, they were like... So you see, you still want this one after waiting, I don't do for you. <laughs> so that would, they get and the the workers there were like, hmm, this girl could be village girl. Like when they pack all these things, they go in my head. They're like, I beg, leave me now. Waiting for one you to teach up for that side. Me, I never even, I've never even spent like one year here, so I cannot say I can be eating their their British food and um, and um, mashed potato with green peas and this. And um, puddings, dumplings. I can't. I can't. Sorry, I can't. I'm not used to it yet. So I'll beat my chest and tell you that I cannot eat it yet. Not that I'm judging their food or anything. That's their food. The same thing they are going to say when they try my food, they try our food. I'm like, oh, it's disgusting. It smells. It's this, it's that. So it is what it is so guys i've come to the end of this video so for those of you that's the applying for healthcare assistant don't give up continue why you want to give up uk government have not announced let them close it so why do you want to give up like what's your point it's just your phone you're using to apply not that you're going from one location to another so don't give up keep applying and you'll get a job so guys uh, thank you so much for watching my video if you watch it to the end thank you so much if you watch it halfway, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching my video. See you guys on my next video. Bye!